Hello, I'm Susie from Nail Care Education, and I'm very excited today because I have my first guest in my new set. This is Andrea. Hello. Hi, Andrea. How are you? Good. <laughs> she has lovely, beautiful little hands, and today we're going to do a new set for her. Let's get started. So we're going to start on one hand right now. We're going to start on this hand and look at these cute little things. Okay, so what we want to do is take a brand new cuticle stick and we just want to gently move her cuticle forward. We're just pushing them back a little bit. Andrea says she does this right after a shower, so her cuticles are actually pretty good. But we just want to get that organic material that's on the nail like that and push it back. You want to get as much, I call it nail estate, as possible. You can even see that white stuff. See that stuff when I push it back? That's the stuff you want to get rid of. If you were to put the acrylic right on top of there, it's going to lift. That's going to be one of the reasons, if you're having lifting issues, that's probably going to be one of the reasons why. Now you bite your nails a little bit, you said, right? Yeah, when I'm nervous. Yeah. Well, a lot of people do. It's a common thing, eh? Okay, so then we're going to take my trusty little drill here, and we're just going to gently buff the surface of the natural nail. And when I say gently, I get these arbor bands. Now, if you're doing this with a drill, you want to do it on a very, very low speed. You don't want to have it. That's horrible. Don't do that. Honestly, I don't even know why some of them go that high. <laughs> okay, so you want to do it on a very low speed. And you want to gently buff the surface of that natural nail. Now, I have done a video with um, bitten nails before. I did that with my friend Grant. But I wanted to do it with Andrea because we're going to do a bit of a pinching method. If some of you have asked about that. And so I wanted to cover that. It really is an advanced step, but I thought I'd cover that in this video. Andrea flew all the way from Halifax. For those of you who may not know, that is all the way across the country for us. We're on the West Coast, she's on the East Coast. Place I've always wanted to go. It's a beautiful place. You'll have to come. Mm -hmm. It's on my bucket list. <laughs> she flew all the way across to attend my six week course and I'm very flattered. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> We've been hanging around a lot for six weeks. She's been spending time in the salon and learning some extra things beyond the course. It's been a great learning experience too, isn't it, working in the salon? Yes. Yeah, it's lots of fun. Okay, so once you buff up the surface of the natural nail, I want to just give it a good little check. Yeah, that's good. And you want to make sure all the little surface areas... Oh, I see one little mistake that I didn't see. If you don't get every little bit, the acrylic won't stick to that. And even though it's a little area, it's going to be a big lift and the client's going to be annoyed. So we want to make sure we get every little spot. So I'm just going to take all the dust off with my trusty little duster. And then I'm going to put some primer on these and form them up. So I'm just going to put a little bit of primer on each nail. trusty paper towel. This is to capture all my product. I've got these nice new towels and I don't want to get them all icky. I've got my nice little ceramic container. This has my liquid in here. So Andrea, Max Estrada from Exclusive Nail Couture sent me up a bunch of these colors. Look at them all. They're beautiful. They're really pretty. So I thought we could do a bunch. Okay. Like mix it up? Yeah. Are you okay with that? Oh yeah. Okay. So I'm going to form these guys. But yeah, usually I throw it over my shoulder. There's a garbage there, so I thought I'd use it this time. <laughs> so without getting into too much detail, I do have a lot of videos on forming, but just a quick little rundown. When you're forming, it is really easy to use two hands, but you do want to hold the client's hand. So it is easy if you can learn how to do it this way. I separate these ends, and I don't really care where these ones go on the finger. I'm really mainly focused on this area in here. And when I'm applying it, I'm focused on this area here. So I do bend it a bit with my finger. It does help to do that. And I put it up as close as I can. 
Even though hers are, she says she bites them, they're actually a pretty good little shape. A lot of times when people bite them, they are actually quite a bit lower than the end of their finger, but this is actually not too bad. But the idea is you do want that form to be below. So before we put our color down, we want to put a thin layer of pink because if the client decides they want to change their mind on the color that I'm going to put down, you don't want to file that off the next time she comes to visit right down to the natural nail. So if you put a nice thin layer of clear or pink or something very gentle, doesn't want to interfere with the colors that you're doing, it'll protect that natural nail from changing out the color. Some clients will just keep the same color, or just keep filling it in with the same color every time they come in, but a lot of clients like to change it. I suspect, Andrew, you're gonna like it so much, you just fill it. Yeah. Now, Andrea's completed the course, so she can go home now and fill them yourself. <laughs> well, I'll try. Mm -hmm. So you wanna do a nice, thin layer. Always keeping your form below. Sometimes when there's not much of a natural nail or any of a natural nail to keep the form situated, it'll sometimes wanna slide up a little bit. So you gotta really make sure it stays in its position. Now I'm gonna add the glitter. Yellow is not a very common color at all. This is really pretty. Look at that. You can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes nail technicians will hold the hands this way and it is better visually. I'll try to do that. Do whatever way is easier for you. <laughs> I'll see the end result. The other way is easier for me, but it's probably not great for the camera to see. So I want to make sure this is a bit more yellow, so I'm going to put some more acrylic on there. Now you don't want to make it super thick because we do want to cap this with a layer of uh, clear to protect this glitter color. I'm gonna do a fade. Did I not mention that yet? No, you didn't. No, I'm gonna do an, a glitter fade. I got so excited to do it and I forgot to tell you what I'm doing. I just added another little bead. I want to get a real color in there because you can see it's super, super soft, super pale. But I do want to be able to see the yellow tone in it. I think that's good. So now you do want to clear cap it. It is very, very thin. Let me see if I can show, can you see that? So if you look down there, you can see how thin that is across there. One of the tricks is when you're trying to pinch, you wanna make sure that is nice and thin. The thinner it is, the longer it takes to cure. So then I have time now to put the clear cap on top. Oop, get my clear cap. And that's a bead of clear. I wanna put that on top of this whole nail. This is to give it strength and structure, and it's to encase that beautiful yellow all over so then I can pinch it. That doesn't sound very nice, does it? <laughs> Pinching is quite an advanced step, and you only want to do it when you really know how to do it. And the reason why you don't want to do it if you're not really experienced at it is if you do it too much, you'll crack it. If you do it too soon, it'll damage the acrylic design that you've done before you get a chance to pinch it. And I'll go into that further in a second. I'm dabbing away on a paper towel to get rid of the excess liquid. Another rule of thumb too, when you're doing a nail like this, and you don't want to do it long because they're quite short little nails and I don't want her to break them, right? Yeah. <laughs> we want you to have them for a while. So we want her to get used to them. 
So we're gonna let that dry for a second. I can go on to the next nail, but sometimes if you can get distracted or involved and you start talking to your client, you forget to pinch. So until you get used to that process of how long it takes before you pinch, you don't wanna kinda of get started in, in the middle of something else and you can't get out to pinch. Cause there's nothing worse than starting to pinch your nails and then you started another one and then you forget to pinch that one and you've pinched, let's say all eight or nine, but not that one. <laughs> He's gonna stand out. So we're just gonna let it wait for a second and then we're gonna pinch. So now I'm gonna pinch. Get my little pincher. So now there is a trick to this. Now, when you pinch, well, sometimes I'll dip it into my clear. And you can see I just kind of dust it a little bit. So when you're pinching, the idea is on these pinchers, you want to focus in on this area, not the very top part of your pincher. You want to focus in on this area here, okay? So when you're pinching, because I'm focusing on these sides, I'm also focusing on these sides here. I'm going to place it beside it and just gently or ever so slightly pinch it together. We got a little bit of a pinch out of that. You don't wanna do it too much. If you do it too much, then you'll have like a real strong C curve. We're trying to pinch the end. It's gonna got more of a C curve like this, right? So that's what we're trying to do. If you pinch it too soon, you'll gunk all the product that you just put on there. If you pinch it too late and too hard, you can crack it. And the reason why we do it is just to give it that real kind of narrow, slim look. Okay, so I'm gonna take that off because it is ready to come off. And I just wanna see the color. Aw, that's pretty. I like it. I like that too. It's very, very pretty. So when you're putting nails on a nail biter, each and every finger can actually be shaped quite differently and they can have different lengths on the finger or if they have any lengths on them at all. <laughs> Just because you like that, don't you? Yeah. It seems others do too. They refer to the videos. Why is that, I wonder? <laughs> Something you don't see every day. <laughs> My clients do, I've been doing it for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> They're lucky then. <laughs> Everyone is gonna be a bit different, I mean, this one's shaped a little bit different than this one and this one and this one. So the sides of the nail are really what I'm concerned with. So I'm going to put my form here. So we want to make sure those forms are right below. There we go. So it looks kind of funky because there's a little bit of a division. So what we're trying to avoid is this bulbous part of the finger. When you put the form on there, the natural nail is going to grow out over time and it's going to push this back to get a much more natural flow. And that's what we're doing when we're forming. We're trying to simulate where the natural growth is going to be. Okay, so I'm gonna go for blue. I'm in the mood for the blue, but I'm gonna put my thin little pink layer down first. I'm just gonna get a nice little thin layer down there. we're gonna attack that blue. I gotta get some of that blue in here. I was thinking about doing all of them one color, but then I thought, we really need to see what all these colors look like. So pretty. Look at that. Well, you can't see it, can you? No. My little fat hand's in the way. Oh, that's okay. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at that. I mean, this is super, super delicate. And we are seeing the black through it, but once that form is gone, it's gonna look very light, and very delicate, very pretty. When I'm doing a fade, I wanna make sure that I have ample color or product that really feathers up past that natural nail. So sometimes I'll even bring the fade part, see that fade when it starts to fade up there? right past where the natural nail would be. You know, where you place that fade, where it starts to dissipate, is really quite a creative choice. The further down you go into the nail plate, also, you know, gets a little bit more out of their fill. Some people like it to be down a little bit further, some people don't. You just gotta read your client and figure out what they want. 
Now, because she does have short nails too, we don't want to go too long. That's often a tough thing when a client comes in with short, short nails and they, let's say they booked for a new set and they just, sometimes you'll get, I was explaining this to Andrea before, sometimes they want really, really, really long nails and they have this tiny little platform to put long nails on. So it's one of those things, they've come in for it and they really, really want it, but you have to explain to them as a nail technician that it's just, they're not going to survive. <laughs> You're going to blow them off. The first chance you go like this with your hair, they're going to just fall off. They've got to have something to hang on to. Not to say that you can't have your nails long like that eventually. I've had a lot of clients that were nail biters. And then just a few months later, after their nail grew out, they were able to have longer nails. You just got to get more foundation. I'm pretty happy with where that's landing. I'm just going to quickly clear cap this. I just want to make sure I get it completely over top of all my sparkle. You like that too? Yeah. <laughs> Remember Sam, that client we had in the other day? Don't oh you just God. love her? Yes. I love her accent too. That's where I learned some of my words. <laughs> what did she say the other day? You splash out. Yeah. Well, splash out and get some then. Coffee. She wanted coffee. We don't have coffee in the salon. <laughs> splash out. It's pretty cute. Okay. So now we're waiting for this one to just cure up a little bit so I can pinch it. I'm going to put the other form on. Some places will take that little donut right out of there and some places, some nail technicians, and they'll put this little dot right in there. Eh. I don't know. It's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to put that dot somewhere. It doesn't really, I mean, it can make it a little bit stiffer in there, but I don't know if I really care to have it much stiffer in there, especially when I'm trying to bend it, right, to get into. It's in fact, I don't really like it at all. <laughs> I like it, that flexibility. I really do like that flexibility in there. See, now I'm talking and stuff. I now might forget to pinch. So I'm going to just test this guy. Maybe too soon. Oh, I like to dip it in the clear sometimes. I'll just get it around there and see if we can give it a little pinch. Yeah. I think that's okay. Oh, you know what? Here's a good thing. You can see it's almost a little too soon to pinch. And you can see how it kind of bunched that clear up there. Can you see that? Yeah, see, I might have missed that if I kept going forth there. I think I did bunch it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to form this little guy. get a little fancy on this one. I've got some extra glitters we're going to add. So what other color we got left here? We've got pink. the pink. So let me just get that really thin clear layer in there. It's very tiny. You have tiny little fingernails. Yep. <laughs> That's what I've been told. Yeah? That means you gotta work really, really small too. You don't wanna put this giant nail on this little nail bed. So we're gonna get some pink in here. The pink is super, super subtle. So I'm gonna put a second layer of the pink in there just to just intensify the color. It is super, super soft pink. Okay, so I'm gonna get some of these nice sparkles. I'm just gonna add a few in there. That's what you could really call like an inlay. Really, really, really flat and small. So, I'm just going to do that just before I clear cap it. Boy, the color. 
colors to settle. Let me take this form off and see if we can see that blue coming up at all. You can, it's very subtle, isn't it? Yes, very pretty. Hmm, it is. If you wanted a little more intensity, which I might actually, um, like this is really perfect what we're doing, but if I was to do it again, I might add a little bit more blue of another color and just mix it up to give it a little bit more blue intensity. Yeah, so I'm gonna go back to this one and I'm gonna give it a little pinch. Yeah, good timing. I didn't squish this one this time. It's quite a technique. If your nail technician is not doing this right, when your nail technician starts to pinch it, it might hurt. That is, you don't really want it to hurt. You don't want nails to hurt at all. So yeah, you kind of don't want it to hurt. So you have to be really careful when you are pinching. This is dry enough, actually. I think I can take this right off. I guess I'm just getting impatient. I just want to see it right through. That is really Isn't that pretty. pretty. Is this the first time you've had nails on? Uh, first acrylic, yes. It is, eh? Wow. So we are going to determine the length. These are a tad bit long and we're going to go on the square side. Honestly, I do find doing more of a square shape is better for a nail biter just to give it some strength to get this going. To be, so they can start growing and getting some length of the natural nail under there to get some stability. So I always determine the length first and then I file up. all these off and we're gonna put a nice glossy gel top coat on these bring out that nice sparkle there we go get a little nuke going on these up and we're going to do your other hand. Can't wait to see. I know, I'm excited. So there's a method to my madness. My idea was putting on a new set of nails for Andrea, was to do another short, short nail video, which was great. But also, Andrea is a student. So getting these nails on her now, she can go home, and she is gonna take the knowledge that I've taught her during the course, and she's gonna fill her own nails. It's one of the best ways to learn how to become a nail technician. So that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna fill them when you get home. Yes. That's cool? Yeah. yeah. I'm quite excited about that. Thank Thanks for joining me, Thank sweetheart. You. This has been so much fun. I'm so flattered you flew all that way to come and see me. <laughs> And I'll see you guys in the next video.